you are a golfer or an avid follower of golf, you may have been exposed to the discourse around golf balls lately and the proposed rule changes by the USGA and RNA. And today we're going to do an interesting test to showcase the differences. Um, Titleist has said that their only ball currently in line that would, uh, that would agree with the new parameters would be the Pinnacle Soft. So we're going to test that against Pro V1 and Pro V1X for 2023. Kevin's going to hit a bunch of shots and we're going to break down the changes and all the data that TrackMan yeah. shows us today. So golfers, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and then tell us in the comments what you might think about these proposed new ball changes. Hey golfers, my name is Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined today by Kevin Kraft. He is um, getting ready to hit some tee shots because we have a fun one today. Uh, I've got a Pinnacle Soft in my hand, and as you may have heard in the intro, we're going to test it because uh, Tyler states that it's the only one currently that would, um, I guess, fall in line with the new parameters that are proposed. Yeah. And we don't know if this is going to last. Obviously, yeah. and it wouldn't take effect until 2026, as right. far as we know. Right. So um, still a lot of what ifs with it. But given yeah. the discourse and how it's kind of a hot button topic right now, we thought we'd maybe use TrackMan to see what the differences are. So yeah, it was interesting. You know, I was reading up on on this whole thing, and somewhere along the line, I, I came across the line, the thing from Titleist that when they were discussing their yeah their take on it. Um, obviously not a very positive take yeah. on it, that the only ball that uh, that currently con would conform would be the Pinnacle Soft. So I thought that was would make for an interesting little yeah. little test here. Yeah. So Pro and V1 I, versus you know, Pro V1X. Versus right, v1. and you know I think they're they're trying to go for the players that swing really fast and other parameters. I think they previously, in terms of the testing and the limitations, they went up to 120 miles an hour and now yes. it's 127 miles an hour. And so, um, but you know, I've seen you swing, you've been swinging here recently and I wouldn't say you're up at 120, but I you can certainly climb into the one, for sure. one t 110s. Yeah, where you oh can yeah, kind of climb I can get, into. I can get so, to the 110s. So today we're just, we have a Pro V1X, we have a Pro V1, and yep. we have the Pinnacle Soft. We're gonna just hit a few swings with each one let's, and see what those differences let's, are. Let's and see what, see I'm what sure happens. we'll also notice some feel differences oh, and I'm sound sure. differences off I'm the, quite the club certain. face. So. Quite certain. Um, we'll start with Pro V1X. Yeah. Um, what's the, we got a fun driver build here. So. Yeah, so, um, I, I put together a paradigm with the uh, graphite design CQ. I had done some, uh, I wanted to try the, the CQ a couple weeks ago. And the only head that I had that shaft for was, was the paradigm. Sure. And I got some good results. So um, we had it back here. So I just put it back together. I love it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here with the Pro one x to start. Okay. Wow, you're hitting a solid. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Club head speed's a little slower than I want it to be, but it's okay. I'll try and ramp one up here. Ah. Ooh, that's spicy. Yeah. That one's spicy. That's a little better. There's there's right. a little bit of speed. So See what the baseline is after the Pro V1X. 163 ball speed, 2291 on the spin. We're, okay. we're hitting it over 300 on average with a carry of 277. Pretty pretty solid. Yeah. You know, 149 smash. Yeah, that's pretty I'm, good. I'm pretty happy so, with that overall. Oh yeah. Take that one. Yep, like that one. I don't understand all the uh, talicized yeah. spin rates here today. Oh yeah. 164. Nice. Toe ball. So, <laughs> Pro V1 and Pro V1X now, I mean, as we can tell, not a ton of difference, at least in, in these this series of testing, I know yeah. generally there's some differences in spin and, and maybe launch. There's that definitely a difference in effect. feel. Yeah? Yeah, the, the, the Pro V is definitely uh, softer feeling. Okay. And we did see a little bit of trajectory difference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, launch is a little lower, goes a little bit lower. Sure, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Which yeah, I so, like. Which, which I, is, know. yeah, that's generally how that is supposed to be, kind of how the, the ball flight is designed in each of those, yeah. each of those balls. Yeah. So. 
Um, okay, so these are kind of the baseline numbers though mm -hmm. that we're going to be looking and measuring the pinnacle soft against. So the spin of about 2200 or 2300, uh, the carry about 275 and 300 to total. I'm curious about this. Uh, so we've got the we've got the dot on the pinnacle. Yep. So that's the best make we can it, do. In make terms it as of good the... as possible. They do not make an RCT pinnacle. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> How'd those feel? Soft. Yeah. Yeah. You had the same exact spin basically on both of those. I feel like, I feel like it's just smushing the golf. Yeah, ball. yeah. Mm. I mean, here's the thing. This, the, the golf ball is different. So What's that? the ball speed's not up there. No, the ball speed is definitely not, not jumping up. But You're talking about club speed? I want to get up, or club head speed, yeah. Club speed's not coming up. Well, you're, you're, you're trying to match the club speed up at least? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I got so up to... I'm one. not sure the ball speed will match up. I don't know. We're because gonna, of the ball. We won't know until I do it. <laughs> that just sounded, yeah, it just doesn't sound quite perfect. But that spin is low, I tell you what. That was off the heel. Oh, hey, there's 109. Okay, cool. One thing we're learning about this golf ball is it does not spin very much. No, it does not. Because that one was off the heel, and that should have right. should have seen more spin. Okay, you heard of the band Rush? No. no. You haven't heard of Rush? No. God, we're in another Jimi Hendrix situation. How is this even possible? How is that possible? I don't know. I don't know. They're they're like the yeah. They're like one of the the premier I, classic rock bands. I can tell of, you were going somewhere very sternly yeah, the, the about something. Rush album twenty one twelve, which is which is where we are there on spin. Oh, I, uh, I oh my goodness! You never had a chance. I mean, you should have known. You, you should have known. I wouldn't have. It's had too that. bad we're not no longer in the 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 era of mixtapes because this boy needs a mixtape like badly. Like badly. Oh my God. Uh, Gee, many Christmas. Here, yep. Bring on the comments. You're bring killing them on. Me. Bring them on. Killing me. All right. Y'all help me out here big time with the whole Jimi Hendrix thing, right? So let's let's do a little bit of Drew bashing for the whole who's rush. Come on. Oh. You won't know till you try it. Now, finally, we got some ball speed. Club head speed came up. All right. That there we go. spin is so low. Boy, that's crazy. Okay. So. Attack angle, basically the same on everything. Yep. Club head speed, right in the range for everything. Yep. Uh, smash factor, okay. Pinnacle soft, a little soft. A little soft. Honestly, yep. didn't yep. create the same smash. We did see about a 400 RPM reduction in spin. Yep. And it was the lowest launching. Lowest launching, So then it spinning. fell out of the sky. It is 11 yards shorter in carry or 12 yeah or 12 than the pro depending v1 on the clubs X. so that's where okay so this is interesting so this is the total yeah. right if you look at total it doesn't you're not like well what's the difference right yeah um yeah but if i go here you start to see all these blue ones down here yeah right and it's because yeah. that ball has no spin and it's not staying up there yeah um interesting yeah. interesting so it, how about so let's go over the feel part okay so that's a, obviously a big component of this is just the compression of the golf ball yeah. and, and yeah. how it's going to be, like you said, you kind of felt mushy almost. Marshmallow. So, so I mean, is there a pretty it's stark a difference round between marshmallow. them? marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it feels, it feels squishy. 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 Okay. Yeah. So very different than the Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Yes. Okay. Yes. So Both Pro V1 and Pro V1X feel explosive. Yeah. This feels splashy. Like, okay. like. Like if I was striking a, uh, a a water balloon, okay, that's kind of what it feels like. Okay, water <laughs> balloon, good. So, and I, I there's been some again within the discourse of this whole golf ball thing. There's yeah. been some figures thrown around like how many yards yeah. are being lost, you yeah. know, things like that. And this isn't a perfect test by any means, um, but in terms of we definitely notice that there's going to be some differences in the ball speed. Yeah, um, yeah. 
It's just not quite as explosive. Doesn't jump quite yeah. off the face the same way that these. We're looking at like three mi three miles an hour difference in ball speed. Right. At, at 108, 109 and miles it, an it hour. It makes up for some of that with with lower spin, mm -hmm. but it also was. Look at the height. I right. Mean, the height was significantly lower. Right. And so the attack angle the was the same. I mean, yeah. you're you're hitting the ball yeah. the same way. Yeah. So it's just launching lower because of. Interestingly enough, if. If that height was higher with that spin, this ball might actually win. Right. But it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is not. That's correct. If it was a higher launching ball, and there might be, yeah. I mean, that might be the way that I'm just thinking ahead. But, you know, again, this is a, an issue in three years, maybe. But yeah. a ball manufacturer might try to find a way to create a, I mean, if that's going to be the, the characteristics yeah. of a ball that conforms. Yeah. Yeah. Find something that's higher launching. Yeah. To probably a different dimple pattern. Or yeah. Something like something that. Like that. And you might see the ball not really lose much. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe. Um, but Maybe. this was interesting because clearly the Pro V1 and Pro V1 X are, and depending on where you, if you're, if you focus your distance on carry, 10 to 12 yards carry can be a big deal, especially on a soft golf course. You know. Huge deal. It can be a big deal. That's a, that's an entire club. Like, um, and if, if I'm in a fitting and this is where this is where somebody is, right? Yep. And I get these, these this number or right. this number, that's still a big win. Yeah. You know, unless we're in West Texas where everything's rock hard and windy, right. then you want it to. Unless you roll, absolutely know you're playing in wind all the time, yeah. you might take the yeah. one here that's lower ball flight. Sure. But yeah. So but, yeah, I mean, we saw some. We saw kind of what we expected here. I yeah. think we saw, I didn't, I guess I didn't, I'm not a, I didn't, I guess I didn't expect such start differences in the ball flight with the, the yeah, little I, launch I and the height were so different. I didn't necessarily expect it to be a super low flying ball. I didn't yeah. expect it to be as fast and it wasn't as fast. It wasn't as fast. I also expected a little bigger difference in total different right. distance, right? I did too. I, we only lost three yards. Yeah. And, but, so. and it's, we should, I mean, we have to throw that in the, the clarifier into that. This is for that fairway conditions simulated yeah. on track, man. Yeah. Like obviously if you're on a right. soft course, right. it probably will be a full 10, 12 yard difference. Yeah. And if you're on a firm course, you might not get any difference because it might roll yeah. with the lower yeah. ball flight. It might yep. even roll farther. So, yeah. but so, we definitely notice a difference and we could, you probably could hear it on the video too, that the audio oh, difference. It definitely of the sounds so, much, much softer. Yeah. yeah. So, no, it was fun. I liked it. Yeah, no, it was, it was good. A, it was yeah, good. So, I, I, I appreciate Titleist at some point, I, I can't find the article again, but at, yeah. at some, uh, wherever, wherever it was that they, they listed that the, the one conformer was this one made this, yeah. made this test possible. Well, so um, go about your discourse with, within the ball proposal stuff and maybe use some of this data in this test to uh, support or <laughs> negate your argument wherever you're at with that. But um, good stuff, Kevin. Thanks for, thanks for hitting the shots. Thanks for the idea, by the way, to do this. This is fun. So.